yeah man uh what's where should we go next so um reharmonize a melody like for instance i have like this one thing i'm working on throughout the melody i kind of want to like switch it up whatnot and usually my approach is just to try shit out my question though is is there a way to think about how to approach it other than just trying it out okay this is a great question how to reharmonize a melody there's so much you can do so let, let's start with one i'll just like make up a melody we got a d e a and g so let's put four chords on each of those So the first thing I would think about is just bass notes. What if we change the bass notes? What if it went down? That's kind of, I kind of like that more because then the melody's going up. So it's like opposite directions. You know, I can make this C major. That's kind of the first thing I think. Then for B and E, maybe this. That's, that's interesting because B minor is a little further away. And then for A, I can go A sus, I can go A dominant, I can do A alt, I can do fucking weird shit, I can do like B flat over A for no reason, or, or E flat minor. This might be, might be weird. Somehow, kind of works. Which leads to one of my thesis statements. Everything sounds good. Asterisk. It just depends how you do it. One of the preliminary exercises that I'm drawing from when I do this is for every bass note, and for every melody note, if you take these two notes, no matter what they are, you got a C down here and a D flat up here, you got a G here and an E, it doesn't matter. There's always gonna be a chord that works. And so one of the exercises you can do is top note is C and then the bass note moves. And for each of those 12 options, you should be able to have a chord that you can play off top. For C and C, I mean that sus altered you know and that can go d flat major a flat e flat which is minor right f over c sounds great dude just play it are you kidding me there's an f major with c in the bass Fucking magical but first you should be able to do one for each just one some of these are gonna be more problematic than others you know when you have that flat nine interval that's a challenging interval to compensate for. And like, that's the funny thing about reharmonizations is like, as long as the melody is clear and the melody is good to begin with, it's still at the end of the day, it's still. And landing on D minor, like it's strong. For some reason, when people start reharmonizing a tune, they just reharmonize the whole thing. It has to be on 100% the whole time. You have to, you have to reharmonize 100% of the chords. Like really? Like, I, I, that's not, that doesn't seem creative. That's all I think about when I play ha harmony, is melody. Because what's harmony? It's just a combination of notes. But then melody is like a combination of notes over time. So if you play two chords, there's a melody. When you reharmonize a tune, you have to respect the melody. As long as the melody is clear. And if it's clear, shit, you can do just about anything below. Just don't f it up. Like <laughs> If that melody's clear, it's going to be fine. Because on that A flat voicing, I am playing a triad on top. And that's one of the ways I'm making the melody sound really clear. Because that's a clear sound. A second inversion major triad is like, to me, the most stable fucking sound you can have. It's the best. The intervals are progressively getting smaller. And then the A is also supported by this major sixth interval, which is like the best interval, dude. I love a major sixth interval. It's like a pyramid. It's like, you know, on the bottom part of a pyramid, you have a bigger block and then you have a smaller blocks on top and like that's why i love this it also works because on the piano the bigger intervals go on the bottom and the smaller intervals can go on the top but you can't put small intervals down here too much because it just gets muddy so it's also like it just makes sense but you can get really crazy with this
right? And I'm just going to make the left hand. at the end because I didn't like how it ended on B13 flat 9 so it can feel like there's this one track and then the reharmonization is like it's going oh and we can feel it coming back to where it's supposed to be and so then you can just decide how crazy you want to go yeah thanks so much you guys really really appreciate it it was an honor thanks so much alright bye peace peace